Welcome to the Blondie Chain channel. In this video, we will quickly figure out how to create your own NFT. To do this, we will use the OpenSea platform. My name is Tatiana and let's start. OpenSea is an NFT marketplace launched in 2017. Users can create their own NFTs on OpenSea, sell or buy them for direct per share or actions. This platform allows you to sell, buy and create your own NFT tokens, which we will do together with you today. We go to the site OpenSea.io and the first thing we need is to connect our wallet. In the upper right corner, the total balance of your wallet will be displayed. On the main page you can see two main buttons – to explore the NFT market or to create your own NFT. By scrolling below, you can see the best collection for 7 days, as well as trend in all categories. Then a description that you can create and sell your NFTs on this platform. Below you can explore useful articles using this platform. Then there is a division into categories, a video about OpenSea and below social networks. In order to create an NFT, we need to go to the upper right corner, to the Create tab. Let's see what we can create in the form for a non-fungible token. It can be in image, video, audio or 3D model. In the description below, the specific formats they are supposed for creating NFT are PNG, GIF, MP4, MP3 and so on. The maximum size allowed for creation is 100 MB. Well, I have already prepared a sticker that I will create in the form of an NFT. Copy the name and transfer it to the name column. In the external link tab, you can add a link to your work of art. This may be a link to a site where a user who wants to buy your NFT can read more details and description of the work. It is important to note that it is not necessary to add an additional link. Below you can enter a description of your work. In the collection tab, we can choose which collection we will add the our NFT to. This is useful to advanced authors who create different NFTs for different collections. Next, you can customize the individual characteristic of your NFT. For example, in the properties tab, you can describe the traits that your character will display. Here you can specify the character, characteristic and gender of this character. These properties will be clickable, displayed under your element and can also be filtered in the collection sidebar. In the properties tab, we can come up with textual characteristic of our product. There are some kind of hashtags by which buyers can sort and filter NFTs. For example, you can specify such a characteristic as hair color and indicate blonde. And if the user who wants to buy NFT in filters on the left on OpenSea will set the parameters to blonde, then accordingly my NFT will be highlighted for him to show. In the Levels tab you can create characteristics that will be displayed as a progress bar. Their levels will be clickable and displayed under your NFT and can also be filtered in sidebar of your collection. The next tab is called Stats and there are characteristics that are displayed as numbers for example. We can indicate the year of months of creating of this NFT. Let's move on to most interesting tab, which is called unlockable content. This is the most interesting feature of the NFT, because the information you enter here can only be seen by users who have already pre-shared this NFT. Such exclusive content will help you increase the value of your NFT. For example, if a person buys this NFT, he can access which a closed Telegram chat or here you can save up some interesting information, add an exclusive article or describe a secret that only people who have preferred NFT will know. In my NFT, for example, I will insert a link to link tree where there is access to all my video resources. Below you need to indicate if your work is sensitive content, which means that the content is for adults. Another tab, which is called supply, is the number of instances of non-fungible token. Below we can choose on which blockchain we want to create our NFT and here is a very important difference between ETH and Polygon Matic. Science creating an NFT on Ethereum will take a very large commission. 
It is important to know that OpenSea does not charge gas fees. Gas fees are charged according to Ethereum blockchain. Workload at the moment NFT mint. This means that the creation of NFT can cost both $50 and reach up to $300 and $400 per mint. So in this case, we will make our NFT on the Polygon Matic blockchain. And on this blockchain, we can increase the supply of our NFTs. For example, I will put 10 pieces, which means that 10 copies of such identical NFT images will be created. In the Freeze Metadata tab, we can freeze our metadata, which means that they will be permanently blocked and stored in decentralized file storage. In other words, this means that your item will always be securely stored and will never be lost. An important note is that you won't be able to access this feature until the element has been created. If you have already created an NFT, you will need to navigate to the collection to access the item you want to freeze. We click on the Create button and start the mint process of our NFT, after which we can see a joyful message that we have created our NFT called Blondie Chain BTC. Then we are transferred to the page of our collection. Here we as the creator can see what we have in the locked content. On top we can add NFT to favorites. On the left we can see that this NFT contains locked content. To view our work we can simply click on the picture. The next step we need to do is put NFT for sale by clicking on the sale button. Here we can set the amount for which we want to sell. For, for example, I put 0.1 ETR amount that is available for sale, as well as time period when this NFT will be sold. In the reserve for specific buyers description, we can specify a kind of whitelist Add here is a wallet that can purchase this NFT. If you deposit a certain number of wallets, then other users will no longer to be able to buy our NFT. The OpenSea platform always charge a 2 and half percent commission on the sale. Then we click complete listing and sign the transaction with the MetaMask wallet. First, we need to unlock our crypto asset and then sign the message confirming this transaction with the wallet, after which we can see the good news that my NFT was listed, which means that now this NFT can be shared user who access OpenSea. We press the Edit Element button and find the selection to freeze metadata. Turn on the function by clicking on the switch, but before pressing the freeze button. Make sure that your content is exactly as it should be because after blocking your content cannot be edited or deleted, because it will be permanently stored in a decentralized file storage. We press the freeze button after we are convinced that everything is correct. Put a tick and press confirm the transaction in the MetaMask. We complete the process of freezing with the signature of the wallet, after which we can see a green check mark that our data has been successfully frozen and below is the hash of the transaction, which we can follow and see how much commission this procedure took. But since all transactions on Polygonmatic are quite budgetary, our freezing it only cost us 2 cents. If we log in as a user, then the blocked content is not available to us for viewing. Below we can see the description of NFT who created it the cost at the moment and the offer to prepare this work. I hope this video was interesting and informative for you. Be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, your favorite blondie.